Factoring quadratics, special patterns here. I feel like I've done a trillion videos on this, but it's never quite enough, and I keep getting these really good questions. So the question here is, which pattern is the most important? How do I know what to do first? And the question is always answered by me by saying it has to be through recognition. You have to kind of see something and realize, okay, this is what I see. How do you do that? You look at a bunch of problems, and it starts to get really easy, and it's all of a sudden you speak it really, really well. And I would really encourage you, just don't give up. You really will see this. It will work great for you. So let's give this a little bit of a try here. Um, for example, here's this, difference of squares. I almost wish I didn't write the damn thing down because it looks so bad. But a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. What? So here's this example, and all it means is this. I look at a problem, and I ask myself, what do I see here? I have x squared minus 25. Well, certainly, x squared is something squared, isn't it? And here's this negative sign, and here's a negative sign. So I look at 25 by itself, and I ask myself, is that a perfect square? And it is, and its square is 5. So all I'm going to do is, is use this rule and say this. Okay, what is the – let's look at this for a second. Let's set it up like this. So it's – x squared, isn't it? Minus something squared. What's the other thing squared? What's And it's not what is this squared, it's what's the square root of this thing. So what number times itself is 25, and um, that number is 5, isn't it? And if you go from that, you can put this piece together really easily. You say, okay, well, x, the a, well, a is equal to x, and b is equal to 5, and all I'm going to do is fill in the blanks up here. So it's x minus 5 times x plus 5. I'm going to prove it really quickly to you through FOIL. x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x, isn't it? Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And negative 5 times negative 5 is negative 25, isn't it? So try that out. And we get 5x minus 5x is 0, so x squared minus 25. We got right back to where we started, didn't we? Let's try an, just another example. So let's keep it really easy for now and just try to factor this. So factor x squared minus 16. Again, I come up to this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I look at it, and I think, well, it starts off good. I only have two terms here. Their first one is x squared, so it's certainly a square. And then I'm going to look at the 16, and I'm just going to ask that simple question. Is this number a perfect square? That is to say, does it, have a perf does it have a perfect square? Is some number times itself perfectly 16? And it is, right? It's 4. So we get x minus 4. Let's do this way again. a equals <coughs> – well, a equals – x, doesn't it? A equals x. B equals, well, what number times itself is 16? is 4, right? So I'm just going to go back up to the, our little rule that said it's, it's x, I'm sorry, that it's a plus b times a minus b, a minus b. I'm going to fill in the blanks. So I'm going to get here, said a is x plus 5 times x <laughs> Sorry, x plus 4 times x minus 4, right? I'm going to multiply this out again, and it's going to come out to the right answer. Pro possibly you're saying, why do I care? You care later because the way we solve quadratic equations is to find out where they equal 0, where their heights equal 0, and that's easiest done through factoring. So this is not just some exercise like jumping jacks. It's just supposed to be good for you. It's actually going somewhere. Can we try one more and then see if we don't have this together? Um, how about this? 4x squared minus, I don't know, 100. I'm going to look at this again. I'm going to look at our 4x squared. Now we have to look and make sure two thing, two, both of these parts are squares. 4 is a perfect square because two, 2 times 2 is 4, isn't it? So we have 2. x squared has a perfect square, which is just x, isn't it? So we have 2x squared minus, well, what number times itself is 100? And, of course, that's 10 squared. So we have a equals 2x 
b equals 10. Write that out. We have 2x minus 10 times 2x plus 10, don't we? And do this little bit of math. And if you do this, you're going to get your pieces back. I'm, I'm thinking right now you're not very impressed. But if you could see where this is going, you would be. So this is one of those rules you just have to bring it with you. You just have to know it. So I'm asking you to trust me on this. Let's do one last one quickly. Ooh, how about this? So how about 25x squared minus 64? Same thing again. Ask ourselves, does 25... Is the, does 25 have the perfect square root? And it does. It's 5, right? So we have a equals 5. We need this piece too, though, right? The square root of x squared is just x, so x. And then b. What's the square root of 64? Oh, also, please remember, if, if, this, right, if this thing right here is not a negative sign, the deal is off, right? It only works if this is a negative sign, and it is. So what's the square root of 64? The square root of 64 is 8, isn't it? So that would give us... 5x plus 8 times 5x minus 8. I, I swear, if I could convince you guys how important this is to know, you'd buy in. I know that there's a lot of math that you do, and you're like, yeah, I learned that in whatever grade, and I never saw it again. And I regret even having learned it. I promise you, this is not that. So keep working on this. You're going to get graded, I promise you.